All right, so we've introduced the polar coordinate system here. Um, we want to see, you know, what kind of curves can we create by writing down simple polar equations, right? I mean, we know what a constant x, you know, if x is constant, that's going to be a, a vertical line. If y is constant, we're going to get a horizontal line. So what does it look like if r or theta, what if they have a constant value? What do we get then, right? Um, I skipped over the examples just going through the simple sort of plotting points and, and converting. Um, if you want one or two, you can think about, you know, if I just give you a, an r value and a theta value, if I give you like r is 4, theta is pi over 6, something like that, right? Well, you give yourself a circle of radius 4, you rotate by pi over 6, you plot your point, right? If you want to know what that looks like in Cartesian coordinates, you come over to the conversion, right? You put r equals 4, theta is pi over 6, evaluate, you get the Cartesian coordinates, um, right? Similarly, if you, have a, if you have a point in the plane that you want to convert from Cartesian to polar, you can use these equations. So if I give you a point like, um, I don't know, 2, 2 or something, then I can say, okay, well, the radius then would be square root of 8 or 2 root 2. Uh, the angle, if x is equal to y, angle is pi over 4, right? You, you can go back and forth. It's not so bad. Um, with that in mind, uh, what do we get if r is constant, right? Well, r represents the radius of a circle, right? If r is constant, that's a circle, right? x squared plus y squared is a constant value, right? That's, that's a circle. x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Circle. Circle centered at the origin, right? So r equals 1.5 or 3 over 2. So here's 3 over 2, 0. Up here is 0, 3 over 2. We plot our circle, okay? All right. What about if theta is constant? Pi over 4? Well, here's pi over 4, right? So typically when we would draw the angle pi over 4, we draw the ray emanating out from the origin. Um, the origin, by the way, the origin is kind of a funny point, right? The origin is r equals 0, and there is no well-defined value of theta for the origin, right? If you're, if you're, you know, it's kind of, again, you think about giving a direction. You're thinking about, well, you're telling someone to get from, how to get from point A to point B, and so you tell them what direction to turn and then with how far to go. Um, but if they're already at the place where they need to be, you just say, well, don't go anywhere. You're already there. You don't have to tell them a the direction, right? So r equals 0 is the origin. There is no angle associated to that. Um, but we do allow r to be negative, right? We, we tend to do this. We will let r to be plus or minus that square root. Um, and negative value for r, well, that just lets you go the other way along that same ray, right? We go the other way, opposite direction. So we actually get a line, right? So constant values for theta just give you a line through the origin, right? It's a line through the origin, and if we wanted to get it into rectangular form, um, well, we actually saw this when we were looking at parametric equations, right? Um, if you describe a curve parametrically, uh, a line through the origin that intersects the circle at a point giving you a given angle, the slope is tan theta. So in this case, tan of pi over 4 times x, right? Or just y is equal to x because tan of pi over 4 is 1, right? So this is just a line y equals x. This is, of course, just the, the, the circle. x squared plus y squared is uh, 1.5 squared, so 2 and a quarter or 9 over 4 if you want to write it like that, 